We are going to start speaking about the zygoma concept, the possibility of placement of zygo uh, implants at the level of the zygomatic bone. And my question is, uh, we have seen in the last two decades how uh, the zygoma concept, the zygoma implant-based therapy, has evolved from a pioneering concept to an spread concept all over the world. Is it now the gold standard? It should be considered as the gold standard for the extremely resort maxilla. So this is what I'm going to try to, to respond with you. And the first thing is to, to try to see, well, to see which kind of patients we are dealing with. Uh, we all have patients like this, they are not very frequent, but, but they exist, of course. And the question is, is this, uh, what should I uh, practice with, with, with him or her? Which is the technique I should choose? Today, we have, I have a clear idea, of course, but you know, the, I think that the scientific community, many times we are a little bit uh, mm, confused because there are many, many techniques. Some of them are emerging. Some of them are more consolidated. For me, the, the question is very simple. For me, the quad zygoma is the response. This is the what what how I treat this patient. But the first thing is that uh, to try to respond, which is which is the gold standard technique. The gold standard technique is the reference method considered uh, to be the because it is the most accurate, the most effective in a uh, in a specific uh, situation. That's why I treat this patient by means of quad zygoma just uh, more than 10 years ago. This is the 10 years follow-up uh, for this patient with very good results, as you can see. Today, we have another situation. It's a very dramatic situation, as you see. Uh, I, can, I see more and more patients uh, like this. They were treated 10, 15, 20 years ago by means of conventional implants. And because of the evolution of the uh, preimplantitis or you know different circumstances, they arrive to this situation. These are patients I'm going to treat in the next month. Both of them came to me just two or three weeks ago, and I'm going to treat them in the same way because I consider that a quad zygoma is the most uh, rel reliable technique today uh, for the treatment of this sort of patients. Quad zygoma represents the possibility of placement of four zygomatic implants, well distributed zygomatic implants in the, in the arch, two in each zygoma bone, and in an immediate loading prosthesis, as you can see on this virtual exposition. This scheme from Novel BioCare, these are the bone uh, resortion situation. Zygomatic implants are mainly indicated for the, uh, the two last ones. Uh, the hybrid zygoma technique, it can be practiced when you have a little bone in the premaxilla. Uh, and the combination of conventional implants and zygomatic implant has been proven, uh, as we will discuss later on. And for the situations in which we don't have any bone at all, uh, we need the quad zygoma protocol or the quad zygoma approach or concept.